But Duncan, something that's used pretty much every day in hospitals, in fact every day in hospitals, and anybody who goes in hospital is going to use a pillow. A massive infection risk? Absolutely. It's one of the major remaining vectors for infection. And if you think about it, once you've had the thought, it's obvious that your head is the best way for infection to get into the body or out of the body. That's where your, your, your nose, your mouth is. Any, any pathogens that you're carrying, you're going to colonize the pillow with. Um, and what happens when the next patient arrives is they get whatever you had. So uh, absolutely, the, the pillow is a, a beautiful, moist, spongy reservoir for incubating whatever you've got. So what steps are, are being taken then to reduce these risks? Well, um, it's very important that uh, to prevent cross-infection between patients, you stop the bugs from getting into the pillow. When I say bugs, I mean bacteria, virus, fungus, um, anything infectious, uh, you have to stop getting into the, from getting into the core of the pillow. Um, and really the only way to do that is to have an occlusive cover, so you have to have a, a, an impermeable cover. And also very important is that the seams of the pillow must not be stitched because uh, air will aerosolize in and out of the stitching holes. Um, so uh, as air comes into the pillow and you take your head off, um, infected air will seep into the, into the stitching uh, and then when you put your head back on the pillow, you get an aerosol spray of whatever that was back into the ambient atmosphere uh, and into the face of whoever it is that's putting the, the head on the pillow. So important that the seams are welded, not stitched. Mm. Mm. Now, of course, once you have welded seams, no air is getting in or out of the pillow, which means the pillow isn't going to squash. So what we've developed is a, a, a hermetically sealed pillow with welded seams, which has a microbial filter as an air vent right. and that filter is itself welded onto the impermeable cover of the pillar. So from what you're saying then, th this is going to be, well it's in the market, but do you think that hospitals are actually doing enough at the moment to reduce the infection through that means? In so far as they can, this thing is really pretty recently on the market um, and people are really just beginning to become aware of the pillow as this kind of loophole for, for infection. Mm -hmm. So they're doing all kinds of things with aprons and hand washing and cleaning the mattress. Up to now, um, it hasn't really occurred to people that the pillow is also a reservoir for infection. So now that this is available, that message is getting across. Um, and what's actually extremely important is that people check the pillows in hospital. Mm -hmm. So um, infection control culture is beginning to um, create pillow auditing programs where people will go through a hospital and they will actually check that the pillow in there is not only fit for purpose but actually not broken. Mm. And, and what you'll find, you know, if you have a relative in hospital or if you're unlucky enough to be in hospital uh, in the near future, currently if you happen to check, just you know, take off the pillowcase and take a look, as often as not, in, in cur currently in, in British hospitals, most of those pillows are ruptured in some way, that mm. the cover is split, you'll see visible staining, God knows what invisible mm. staining. Um, that's beginning to change because th this auditing culture is beginning to, to be introduced. You mentioned Sleep Angel briefly then, how exactly does it work? How has it been produced? Right, um, we have a, a coated covering material which is weldable. So this is a, a knitted fabric which makes it stretchy but it's coated with a um, a polyurethane material which stops any water or anything like that getting in. The seams, as I say, are welded and air gets in and out through a proprietary filter which is waterproof, mm -hmm. um, so you, you can wipe it down to clean it, but it allows high airflow and it blocks virus, it blocks bacteria and it blocks fungus. Um, so nothing can get into the interior of the pillow to clean the pillow, you just take whatever sterilizing solution you use for, for example, the mattresses in the, in the ward, and you wipe the pillow down with that. Mm. That means you're not sending contaminated um, items around the hospital to laundry and back and circulating infection that way. You, you, you clean it in situ. So, I mean, amazing claims that you make. Have you got facts and figures to back that up? Sure. Um, the the um, pillow has been tested by Centex Bell in Belgium and by Airmid in Ireland 
um, to be an effective barrier to all of all of the pathogens that I, I mentioned. So we, we've tested it against MRSA, endospore forming, non-endospore forming, gram positive, gram negative <laughs> bacteria, um, uh, virus down to 25 nanometers. So that that'll block pandemic flu or norovirus or um, um, coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So sleep angel in your eyes is the way forward. I believe so. <laughs>